It's time now for Upon Further Review, brought to you by Ogeechee Technical College, Education with Purpose, and by Dr. Lincoln Lippincott with the Sleep Apnea Center in Statesboro. And now, here they are, Josh Aubrey and Nate Hirsch. We're happy to welcome you in. It's a brand new edition of Upon Further Review, along with Josh, part of the Statesboro Herald's online team. This is Nate, and we're up top of ERA, Hirsch Real Estate Team, buying or selling real estate. Talk to the experts. They're downstairs at ERA, Hirsch Real Estate Team. It is Super Bowl week. It is signing day. It is the end of the regular season for our high school, three of our high school basketball teams. So there's a lot of stuff going on. We have home basketball for Georgia Southern this week. But with the Super Bowl coming up, we would be remiss in not reminding our viewers as things have changed since you and I attended two of the Super Bowls. <laughs> Josh and I went for the old media day. Two at media the days. Bears and the Colts. Right. And then we also went back again for Arizona and, and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yes. So we were in Miami and Tampa with the two swings we made. And at the time we attended, if you can go back to those Super Bowls, <laughs> it was on Tuesday morning. You had one session that went from 11 to 12, and then they had the lunch break. And then they had one session in the afternoon for an hour. That's right. And it was over, right? And, and most people left. And some people hung around and stalked. Oh, and that's true, yes. That's, so, okay, that, you're right. We're, anyway, we're remembering but that. But how this is now, as we tape on Monday, Monday night now. Monday night, media day. It's become, media night. It's, you know, now, I realize it's on the West Coast, so technically... It's in the afternoon. 5 o'clock until 8, making it a three-hour event. They sell tickets now which they didn't before. There were no fans Why of the would stands. You, I mean, what would you get out of that? I, I don't understand. They're piping. Now they, you know, you pipe it in and you put videos and I guess. But what are they piping in? Which, I mean, there's a million people asking a got, million questions. Right, you can't got, pipe it all in. No, you're going to have to pick out, obviously. ESPN uh, or the NFL or Network. Or somebody's feed, right. right. That's going, supposedly. It seems like that would be awfully tough to do, though, Nate, because think about it from a logistical standpoint. You're down there asking questions. Meanwhile, they're blasting somebody oh, yeah. else's questions over the intercom. Uh, anyway, they, they, uh, they're, supposedly, have fun. they're supposedly going to introduce each of the players as they go up to their podium areas, I guess you'd call them. But uh, <laughs> anyway, it, the thing, I think the last time we went to Tampa, we realized it was starting to get out of hand as the numbers were getting bigger and bigger. Well, social media. I mean, because you used to just have a certain amount of media members. And then you got all these onlines <laughs> and all these others that just pop out of the woodworks. Then you've got American Idol sending people to it. You got all, oh, all the talk shows. Right. Everybody sends somebody, and now it's where it is today. Right, and and I guess that's you know it's again it's part of marketing, and, and that's where the NFL takes over everything. And so you're going to have the old questions, and you know the, the the questions probably like if you were a tree, what tree would you be? It's probably pretty tame compared to some of the questions those guys yeah. are getting now with the number of the online people that will be there asking questions. And, and, the thing and we know also, even from the reputable uh, organizations, what dumb questions can be asked at press conferences. But usually this one now, there is just very little said, you know, as far as the players are there, they're having a good time out there. It's They still haven't got into the the meat of the week as far as getting ready uh, for the game. You know, the, the way it was done when we were there, they were set up uh, in their own booths, obviously each team for an hour. Then you had the rest of the players who weren't there, as we went to see the first time, Adrian Peterson, who was playing with the Bears then, of course. And uh, But you could certainly talk to all the players who were kind of just milling around. Yeah. And, and, on their side. and then there were people sitting in the stands you know, as interviewing 
coaches or yeah, other the coaches, right? like, you know, the, the head coaches obviously. The assistant coaches. Are going to be up there. So the assistant coaches, they're just kind of chilling, you know, sitting and around. And not a lot of people know. I mean, unless it's a guy who was a former head coach. Right. Which there are a lot of those on the, on the staffs. But for the most part, a lot of those offensive line coaches, you know, special teams coaches are fairly – go fairly unnoticed. Oh, yeah. So th- those guys don't have as many people. Just like Adrian, there was a handful of people, and I think his story got out because it was a good story, so a lot of people grabbed onto him as well. And the, here's the other reality. Okay. If you really don't know the player, and he's an offensive lineman, we didn't know. I mean, you know, but they, they were, were wearing jerseys. They were wearing jerseys, so you had to, <laughs> if you had to lease your roster. There okay, you go. We could go pick out. And there's so, only so. what 53. 53, right? There you go. So, so not it's not like yeah. No, but you still most of the, at the NFL guys, you know the star players, but most of the team you couldn't identify if you didn't know. But I did get a touch right. You remind me, I did get a chance. I went up and, and talked with uh, Jim Caldwell was. The uh, offensive coordinator then. How many times did he blink? With, with the uh, goals. Once, uh, once, twice? Not as bad as I did. <laughs> no. But Because uh, everybody knew how much I did. But anyway, <laughs> no, and I said to him, I said, can you envision yourself maybe in a year or two, you know, coming back to the Super Bowl and, uh, you know, in your first year as head coach and, and then eventually, you know, be the coach of the Detroit <laughs> Lions? But I didn't actually, you know. Was, he was just as laid back because, you know, I played those Laid games. back is a nice word. I mean, some would say robotic. <laughs> really? Some would say that he was he, relaxed. Emotionless, but he, yes. He, he, was, <laughs> he, he, he was relaxed. But like you said, the, the non-star players, they were just having a good time. A lot of them had their own video cameras. They did. You, you know. And again, now they are probably all got their phones, right? Right. You know, and again, I used the first one to uh, mingle with the media myself during the uh, lunch And stalk break. Peyton Manning. Although the second time, we did have a chance to sit around and Woody Page was sitting at our table yeah. with us from uh, the Denver Post and Around the Horn. And uh, there was a few others that were all gathering, you know. And they, but the, and they were as personable as they could be. You I, sat with Michael Wilbon the first time. I did, the first time, and also stalked my boy Bill Simmons. Chased the I actually got a chance to talk to him now. That would be pretty much impossible. The funny, the funny scene would have been if I had the camera rolling because from about the fifty, you were chasing him down to the ten, and anyway. So, but now you have a chance, obviously, to see it as they make it a prime time event. Quick reminder: when you need legal advice in the Statesboro Bullitt County area, we have the man for you to call on, and that is Lovett Bennett Jr., Attorney at Law PC. Love its office located in downtown Statesboro. We're back in a moment with more on Upon Further Review. It's 2015 model sell-off at Franklin Toyota. Now is your best time to buy because every 2015 model must be sold. At Franklin Toyota, save up to 6000 off new Camrys or get zero APR for 72 months. Find it today at Franklin Toyota in Statesboro. Dr. Sergio Dalsenia of Family Internal Medicine reminds you that Kathy Shriver, who specializes in diabetes education and consultations, is now exclusive to Family Internal Medicine. Call for an appointment. Their office located in the Cotton Ridge Plaza on Fair Road. It's 2015 model sell-off at Franklin Toyota. Now is your best time to buy because every 2015 model must be sold. At Franklin Toyota, well, we'll save up to 5000 off the new Prius or get zero APR for 72 Arkansas, months. Find it today at Franklin Toyota in Statesboro. Lost guys and the Lady Eagles. And then Saturday, while the ladies were playing the top team in the league, Arkansas State, the guys were able to kind of pull away a little bit in the second half, and uh, get a nice road win. Of course, when we taped our show last week, they were getting ready to play Appalachian State, and little did we realize we'd have an ending that might be the ending for the season as far as a three-point basket made and a foul. Mike Hughes, and he's <laughs> carried it on. He's been playing pretty well lately. Yes. Was a big reason for them to pick up the win. Not only that road win, but then the other road win at, at Arkansas. So you you had Mike Hughes making the improbable. I don't know how far it was. It was in between half court and the three point thirty line. some odd feet. Exactly, yeah. it's thirty something foot three pointer and the foul makes that 
ESPN puts it on a couple of their shows. Oh, yeah. Screwed it up on one, saying that well, the three-pointer won the game. Tony Kornheiser talked about Georgia State again. And so, we had that, too. That, but anyway. But, but it was the, a big victory for them. But they and got it, the win, and then picking up the other win, I, I knew it would be tough probably Thursday night. Not to mention that Little Rock is the top team in the league right now. Yep. So what you have in the league, let's look at the guys right now. They finished the first 10 games in conference play at 4-6, and six, and they're in a log jam with a couple of others. Right now, you have the two teams at the top of the league, Little Rock and Lafayette, and they've kind of separated themselves. And Lafayette started that run with their win over Georgia Southern. Right, they won the last three continued weeks. Continued it yeah. all the way through now. So – so the two of them, and again, this is the same as last year. Eight, Except it was Georgia State and Georgia Southern right, right, running away. Eight teams go double by to the top two teams. So that's why it's pretty important to be in the top for the top two. Now yeah. Arkansas State, who Georgia Southern beat, really decimated with injuries, and don't, they don't have a, a lot of players right now. Aren't they six and four in league? And play? so they're, they're now back to five and five. Five and five. And so, and all of a sudden, Georgia State's now lost three in a row. And, and they're at five and five. And, and so you got a log jam. I mean, right now at the bottom, Troy is sitting there one and nine. Okay. So the Eagles now, though, will play ten more games, six of them at home. They already played the six on the road for the first ten. Going to be very important to take care of business. If they could go, I'll probably take care of business at home. Right. If I could, I hope I don't kill off the rest of the season. There you go, Nate. If you can reverse we'll, it, we'll play this later. If you on. can reverse it and go six and four in the second half. There you go. You probably have a really good shot at being in the middle of the pack. Ten and ten in the league. Probably pretty good. So that's yeah. why Arlington comes in, and of course Arlington, uh, you, you know, really put it on Georgia Southern. Uh, in uh, the, the trip early in the season in December in Texas down there. I think that Georgia Southern's a little bit different team now. No, I think everybody is. Texas, same there. thing with Texas State, who uh, that was the game on TV that time early in the year where Georgia Southern couldn't buy a basket and uh, Texas State wound up winning by 15. So, and for the women, they find themselves, believe it or not, in a log jam at three and seven, where you've got uh, you know the Arkansas State dominating. And, and the conference undefeated, and I believe what seventeen and three overall. Yeah, pretty impressive. Uh, very, very impressive. So for the women, same scenario. Uh, again, they've got six wins already, which is one more than they had all last season. They've just got to you know find a way to win some of these games uh, again. Uh, they've six got six to, games at home as well, I believe. Right? Exactly. <laughs> That's how that works out. So anyway, so again. This week it'll be Arlington coming in. Uh, the women's game starts at five on Thursday, and then Saturday it's a half hour earlier when Texas State comes in. And by the way, did you see the Sun Belt comes up with these changes? I'm sure you got this, I guess, same release that I saw about golf. Yep. Okay, so Georgia Southern wins the golf championship last year. Correct. As it has been for every other league they've been playing in, it's usually been a 54-hole event. Yes. Over three days. Mm-hmm. So the Sun Belt said, well, Georgia Southern, you won it last year, so we're going to change the rules yep. <laughs> this year. They're still in Destin, I believe. They are. For the championships. But still going to have 54 holes, right? And then the top four. That's right. Are going to go 1-4-2-3 in match play. They have to find a way. And then play. And then obviously, you got to do another. Theoretically, that would help even more so for the best team to come out on top. Lots of wacky things can happen in golf. Yes. In fact, as we speak, we're taping on Monday. They were just now trying to get the tournament underway that got rain and wind and everything else. Mm -hmm. In where? Sunny California, That's right? That's right, yeah. You don't expect all that. But anyway, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's really uh, conducive for the Eagles. But I guess we'll see. Everybody's playing the same tournament. But. So it becomes basically, though, from a three-day uh, 54 hole event now. I think they're taking it. I don't, they may have to play the 36 holes on the last uh, day there to get it in four days. But that's a lot of golf. But and I and I guess yes. your theory is, yeah, if you're the best team, it should give you a chance to not falter. But it also can make for some wacky stuff. That's right. Because you're playing it in all these different kind of formats. You're right. All right. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully they can get in to the tournament to the postseason 
regardless. That's right. Because they had a good fall. Yep. As we hit February here, they'll start picking up their tournaments. And uh, the third week in March, the uh, Schenkel will be coming, obviously, to, uh, to Statesboro. So, you know, at least we've got some warm weather for a day or two here. At least let us think about <laughs> the potential is, is out there, right? Yes. Our, golf, our, in the, uh, golf in the nice weather, yes. That's right. All right. We've got our high school segment. It's upcoming next, not upon further review. Do you ever wonder what that 15% savings cost you in service? What's the name on the account? My name is Mary. M-A-R-Y. Who is this? Mary. Oh, okay. My name is Mary. Right. Are you even listening to me? Sure. At Glenn Davis Insurance, we get to know you as a person. To us, you're not just another number. Together with Auto Owners Insurance, we can develop an insurance plan tailored to your specific needs. Glenn Davis and Associates, call or come by today. The Medical Center Pharmacy on Grenade Street is proud to be your Health Mart Pharmacy in Statesboro. The Medical Center Pharmacy, locally owned and serving this community for 50 years, is open 364 days a year. The pharmacists at Medical Center know there's nothing more important than your family's well-being. That's why they take the time to know their customers, explain their medications, and answer any questions. The Medical Center Pharmacy, your Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. And it's time now for our high school segment. It's presented by Ogeechee Technical College. We'll look at some high school basketball from over the weekend after we take a look at this from OTC. I'm Brian Reliza. My name is Michaela Graham. And I'm an echocardiography graduate. I'm studying to be a veterinary technician. And I am OTC. And I am OTC. We believe every path is different and every student is unique. Whether you're interested in dual enrollment and associate degree or earning credit toward a higher degree, a diploma, or certificate, Ogeechee Tech can help you build a strong foundation for your future. Visit ogeecheetech.edu to find out how you can go anywhere from here. Well, Josh, it was the, I guess, end of the home season for the State's Pro teams. Yes, yeah, senior night, uh, not exactly the way you want to wrap up senior night. Probably one of their worst games of the season for the guys and the girls lost a heartbreaker. Let's get out and see some of the highlights, nonetheless, from Statesboro and Effingham County. Statesboro hosting Effingham County in the first of two before a good crowd Friday night. The Blue Devils try and get out to an early lead. Stacia Everett for three. Next, Everett looking ahead to Victoria Harris for the bucket. Later on the break, Everett to Diana Henry for the easy two. Statesboro up by three, but Effingham comes back off the miss. Michaela Robinson with the rebound and the putback. Statesboro answers off the steal. It's Harris tying things up with the layup, but Effingham able to hold on. To Shonda Johnson inside, and they'd win 54 to 52. A packed house for the boys' game. Effingham coming in undefeated and on top in the region standings, and they'd start out hot from outside. Jaden Rodriguez for three. Statesboro answers as they go inside to Miles White, who comes up with a nice reverse. Effingham County continuing to light it up from long range. Deshaun Wilkinson for three. White answers with the long two were tied at 18 all with two minutes left in the half. But the Rebels then go on a 9-0 run. DeMonte Lee all alone for three. 27 to 18 Rebels at the half. Second half, Effingham picks up where they left off. Rodriguez, two more of his 17 points. Statesboro tries to keep it close off the inbounds. Mike Solomon for two. Jalen Patrick then throws in two of his 10 points. Statesboro gets within four in the second half, but Effingham closes on a run, 17 to eight in the fourth. Khalid Stapleton on the break, and finally it's Wilkinson with the exclamation point. Statesboro falls 51-35. Well, Effingham undefeated in region play. They're gonna be the number one yeah. seed. Region tournament takes place at Camden County. They're 20 and three overall. Really good team. I think Statesboro matches up well. They just didn't have it that night, so who knows? We'll see. There's a pretty big log jam. Yeah. We've been talking about log jams. Brunswick, Camden, Statesboro, Richmond Hill, all with four losses in the region. So some big games coming up. Statesboro will be at Bradwell. And then uh, Tuesday we have Claxton at Portal, 
Beach at Southeast. Bullock Academies at Pinewood, a big game there. Yeah. Statesboro at Bradwell. Then Friday, Edmund Burke at BA. Wilkinson County playing at Portal. Toombs at Southeast. Statesboro at Richmond Hill. And then Trinity at Bullock Academy for the old rare 3 p.m. Yeah. beginning. And, and BA still has another week. That's after right. This One more week. For regular season action. Yep. All right, we'll come back and show you some Eagle basketball highlights from last week. That's coming up next on Upon Further Review. Tired of being tired? Do you start and end the day completely worn out? You may have obstructive sleep apnea. Dr. Lippincott at the Sleep Apnea Center in Statesboro can give you an evaluation and explain the new non-invasive procedure that has helped so many in our area. Call for an appointment or be on the lookout for one of our free seminars. The Sleep Apnea Center in Statesboro, part of Statesboro ENT, 120 South Zetterauer Avenue. It's 2015 model sell-off at Franklin Toyota. Now is your best time to buy because every 2015 model must be sold. At Franklin Toyota, save up to 6000 off new Camrys or get zero APR for 72 months. Find it today at Franklin Toyota in Statesboro. Well, Josh, we knew Georgia Southern was going to be a little travel-weary after coming back Tuesday morning from Boone, leaving Wednesday to get out to play Little Rock. Plus, Little Rock was very good. And then they had to go over to play in Jonesboro uh, against Arkansas State Saturday night. We have some of the highlights, a couple, both of the guys' games and one of the women's. Let's get out and see how things went. Georgia Southern on the road at Arkansas State. The Red Wolves coming out hot. Sean Gardner for three. More from Gardner. So he hits the pull-up three, and he would finish with a team-high 20 points. The Eagles coming back. A nice look from Coy Simmons to Mike Hughes, cutting for the reverse. The Red Wolves right back. Devin Carter for three, but the Eagles respond. Hughes, three more of his game-high 21 points as he steps back and knocks it down. More from Hughes off the inbounds for two. And finally... Off the fast break, Tukey Brown to DeVince Boykins as the Eagles win 71-66. To the women's game we go and a tall task at hand. Facing the undefeated in conference play Red Wolves who came out hot. Jessica Flannery, the pull-up jumper. The Eagles try and respond going inside to Sierra Butler for two. Later, nice passing as Butler will find Trail English Lurie. Got the nice bounce pass off the glass. But the Red Wolves just too strong. Cotty Brown Haywood, three of her 17. And finally, it's Andrea Gamble driving for two of her 20 points as the Eagles fall 77 to 54. Well, next up for Georgia Southern, and I guess the guys have won two out of three. Pretty impressive. Yeah. The ladies have won, have, as you mentioned, already surpassed last year. Uh, UT Arlington coming in. The women start at 5 on Thursday. And then Saturday is Texas State. 4.30 start for right. the ladies. All right. We'll come back and wrap things up in just a moment. We know how important your family is to you, which is why family medicine is so important to us. At TRICARE Family Medicine, we'll see that your family is in the best possible health. We offer a fun and friendly environment and are now accepting new pediatric and adult patients. Come experience the difference today. Let our family take care of your family at TRICARE Family Medicine, the official family practice of Georgia Southern Athletics. It's 2015 model sell-off at Franklin Toyota. Now is your best time to buy because every 2015 model must be sold. At Franklin Toyota, save up to 5000 off the new Prius or get zero APR for 72 months. Find it today at Franklin Toyota in Statesboro. Well, all the talk has been about the last three weekends, all the players that have come in and visited Georgia Southern. If we are to believe some of these scouting services and what I checked Earlier today, 247 Sports says Georgia Southern has 24 hard commits. All right, that's commits. Now, where are, they, where are they ranking Georgia Southern with these guys that are supposed to be coming in? 
number one in the Sun Belt as of See, that's right. But you told me Arkansas State was ranked number one. They were. So but we, again, so with these new guys, well, when you start getting players that were headed to Georgia, yeah, you know that have already kind of bumps you up. Well, huh? you start getting more three, four star. I, I think we have one four star, but the fact that we're getting a lot of three star players anyway. Now, that's what all the services say. Wednesday is the official signing day, so we'll have another show this week. It will air on Thursday. So we'll let you digest it all. A lot of people will want to follow it. And you can. Georgia Southern is making it available on about 10 different social media sites. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, anyway, the crazy <laughs> thing is, after all these years, the kids nationally have to fax in. Still. That's still the way it works. Otherwise, and, we don't need fax machines as much anymore. And they can't comment, supposedly, until they get the fax. That's exactly right. Just so, the fax. So, anyway, they have that. The main event for the folks in town, certainly, is to go out that evening to uh, Wild Wing Cafe at uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, you know, they've done that. And we'll have so a show that, on Thursday and Friday. We'll where show we'll, that, and we'll also hopefully have a few locals. You think Tyson Summers will say that he had a great recruiting class? I think he will definitely say that, <laughs> and he should feel good about it if exactly. it plays out that way. Yep. All right, we'll have a lot to cover when we see you next time on Upon Further Review. Join us again next time for Upon Further Review, brought to you in part by Ogeechee Technical College, Education with Purpose, and by Dr. Lincoln Lippincott with the Sleep Apnea Center in Statesboro.